So the next problem we're going to look at just now is if you've had if we've had a hot summer like we have this year, hot spring as well, and your pond seems to be drying out. Well, what should what should you do? Um, obviously, you want to keep water in your ponds. Um, you want to keep the life going in your pond. So, what I would suggest you do is rather than filling it up with tap water straight away, try and get water out of if you can set up a water butt to catch rainwater or if you can somehow get rainwater coming off your roof and divert that into your pond that does potentially sound like um, a fairly large job but if you do have to use tap water so remember tap water does have um, chemicals added to it which isn't very good for the life in your pond so I would get um, a number of tubs, buckets and so on, fill them up with the tap water, leave them for a few days for the, 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 the chlorine and so on to hopefully evaporate and then you can add the, the water to your pond and it shouldn't be quite so damaging. There's also quite a lot of nutrients in tap water as well that could, could help algal blooms to form so if you can use rainwater, use rainwater, if not use tap water that you've, you've left for a few days before adding and add it quite gently and quite slowly so that um, the wildlife in your pond doesn't get too much of a shock.